Hey guys, let's kick off these lessons by starting with camera settings and what do they mean? Now, if you're very confident in your camera settings, congratulations, that's awesome. Why don't you go ahead and tune in just in case you learn something. Let's get started. So these are your shooting modes. So on the left here, I've included a picture of Nikon's shooting modes and on the right, we have Canon shooting modes. These are very important to know because this is how you adjust your camera settings. So if you are in automatic mode, then you are not gonna be able to adjust anything. So you wanna be mindful of what shooting mode you are in and make sure that you are gonna be able to adjust what you need to adjust based on your settings. So in manual mode, you can literally customize everything. So I'm not gonna go over these in depth, but if you need to, go ahead and pause this video, take a picture of it on your phone to keep or write them down, do whatever is gonna be best for you to learn the shooting modes. Now we're gonna move on to aperture. Aperture is a hole in the lens that lets light through the sensor of your camera. This creates exposure and it is measured in f-stops. So it's been circled, it's f2.8, that is your aperture setting and that is how much light is being let through your camera. Now we're gonna talk about shutter speed. Your shutter speed is how long your shutter stays open. If you have a slow, long shutter speed, then it is going to record movement. If you have a fast, short shutter speed, it is going to freeze motion. So for example, if I was shooting sports photography, I would want a fast and short shutter speed so that I can freeze the motion. However, if I was on a hike and I wanted to get a beautiful picture of a waterfall, I might slow down my shutter speed for creative effect. ISO. Your ISO is the light sensitivity of the camera. So here's a tip for you guys. The higher that your ISO is, the more grain that will be added to your photos. Now the newer DSLR cameras are better about having less grain for your high ISO because they have more megapixels. However, it's just better to use your settings to lighten your picture rather than just completely rely on your ISO because again, it's gonna add in that grain. Depth of field the most clarity of the focal point from the front to the back of the image. So here's a picture that I took a while ago at Battle Axe Creek, and you can see the sign that says no swimming, no fishing is in focus, and behind it, it is not in focus. And so this is using depth of field. Exposure compensation. This is going to allow you to add or subtract more exposure in extreme situations. So down here at the bottom, this little orange box that highlighted something that says plus 0.3, that is gonna be your exposure compensation. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, happy shooting.